What's up guys and welcome back to another math video from Scalar Learning. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to use the quadratic formula to solve a quadratic equation. Let's do it. So in these two examples, we're going to solve, we could solve by factoring, but I want to show you how to use the quadratic formula so you can be familiar with it because it's an incredible tool. Anytime factoring doesn't work, anytime completing the square just seems like too much, anytime you don't want to use any other method, quadratic formula will always work. So it's a great backup option. Now, what is the quadratic formula? It is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And now this is just something that you're going to want to eventually commit to memory. So what are all these? a is again whatever number is in front of the x squared, which in this case is 1. b is that 9 and c is 18. So now we're just going to do a little plug and chug, right? I'm going to plug everything in. So my b is 9, so they said negative b. So first it's going to be negative 9 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 81 minus 4 times a, which is 1 times c, which happens to be 18, over 2a, again, 2 times 1, which is 2. All right. Now let's evaluate what's inside. So we've got uh, 81, and then 4 times 18 is 72. So 81 minus 72 is 9. So I'm going to rewrite this as negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 9 over 2. Now what is the square root of 9? course 3 so we got negative 9 plus or minus 3 over 2 so what is that plus or minus it indicates two different answers so for example we've got 9 plus 3 oops negative 9 plus 3 over 2 negative 9 minus 3 over 2 this becomes negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6 over 2 this becomes negative 9 minus 3 is negative 12 over 2 We're a little short on space but you can see the answers are going to be negative 3, right? Negative 6 divided by 2 and negative 6, negative 12 divided by 2. And those are our answer choices. Now let's look at uh, number 2. And again, I'm going to rewrite that quadratic formula for us. So we got negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And we've got A is that 1, B is that negative 3, and C is negative 28. Here we go. So I got negative B, which is positive 3, plus or minus square root of B squared, which is 9, minus 4 times A is 1, C is negative 28. Over 2A, again A is 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. First let's handle what's going on in here. 4 times 1 times 28, the negatives are going to cancel out. So we got 3 plus or minus square root of 9 plus 80 plus 32 is 112 over oops, 2. All right, what's 9 plus 112? That's 121 plus or minus 121 over 2. Now, that's a perfect square, right? So one, square root of 121 is 11. So this becomes 3 plus or minus 11 over 2. So again, now we can split this into two different, two different pieces. This becomes 3 plus 11 over 2 and 3 minus 11 over 2. So it's 14 over 2 and negative 8, 8 over, over 2. two. So, so my, my two, two solutions, solutions are 7, comma, negative 4. And there you go. If you like this video, please click that like button. And if you want to see more from the Scalar Learning channel, please go ahead and click subscribe. Thanks so much for checking this out. And I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.